A joint business meeting under the Indonesia, Malaysia and Thailand Growth Triangle, or IMT GT, held in Phuket, has reached the conclusion that business sectors in the three nations will push for the region to be excellent in halal science industry, agriculture development, tourism and IT. The joint business meeting was held at Royal Pickett City Hotel during May the 27th to the 30th and was well participated in by member nations' representatives. The chairman of the Thai delegation for IMTGT, Mr. Tanarak Pongpeta, stressed that Thailand is ready for the halal industry, while Indonesia and Malaysia are strong in religion. Touching on the agriculture development, Mr. Tanarak said the three partners agreed to exchange palm and rubber breeds, while Phuket also proposed abalone farming investment by sending the juvenile abalone and cultivation technology to Indonesia and Malaysia. As for tourism, all parties agreed that Phuket has high capacity and is prepared to promote tourism links among each other. They proposed direct flights between Medan of Indonesian Sumatra Island and Phuket or scheduled flights from Medan Penang to Phuket. The meeting also paid interest in Bangkok Hospital Phuket's proposal to boost Phuket as a health tourism hub due to the island's world-class standards for medical and health tourism plus facilities and transportation. The meeting also proposed that Phuket be a hub for software personnel development. The resulting agreement of the meeting will be presented to another meeting in Indonesia before August this year and the IMT GT ministerial meetings is expected to be held around September this year. The IMT GT development covers 67.5 million people in three nations comprising 14 provinces in southern Thailand, 10 provinces of Indonesia, Indonesia and 8 states of Malaysia. A non-smoking campaign was held in Phuket in recognition of No Tobacco Day on May the 31st. Starting from Pangnawe, Governor Surya Posak, accompanied by his spouse Darani, led students and members of the public to cycle, campaigning for people to quit smoking. The bicycle convoy was deployed from Dibuk Pangna Witiayon and went around the town. The campaign educated people about the negative health effects tobacco has on smokers and people surrounding them. In Phuket, the Provincial Public Health Office, in conjunction with Tesco Lotus, arranged an exhibition and activities to educate people about the negative impacts of smoking. A drawing contest was also arranged. The activity drew big interest from shoppers and young people. Initiated in 1987 by member states of the World Health Organization, World No Tobacco Day is observed around the world every year on May the 31st. It draws global attention to the reduction of tobacco consumption while also highlighting the negative impacts for consumers and its surroundings or people who inhale the smoke. In a, an additional thermal scanner is to be installed in Phuket. The Disease Control Department is acquiring an additional lot of thermal scanners as part of the Thai government surveillance measures in prevention of the H1N1 virus entering or spreading into the country, according to the Director General of the Department, Mom Luang Somchai Chakrapan. He told reporters during his visit to Phuket to follow up and observe the operation at the Phuket Provincial Health Office on Sunday, excuse me, on Saturday. He said he was pleased with the measure so far and praised health volunteers for their hard work in assisting authorities. Dr. Somchai stated that the, the department is now purchasing additional scanners and one will be sent down to Phuket as requested to enhance the scanning capacity. He also reaffirms that the country has sufficient Tamifu in stock if the disease is found to, be, to spread in Thailand. On the local side, the provincial chief, Dr. Pangsawat Ratanasang, reported the scanning results at Phuket International Airport during the 28th of April to May the 29th, which totaled 27,000 with nine people suspected and undergoing checking. All cases are confirmed to be just normal flu, so he reaffirms that no case has been detected in Phuket. 
Entertainment businesses operating in Phuket request extension time of services. While Phuket governor insists they must follow the law and suggest they seek approval from the Interior Ministry. The chairman of Entertainment's Entertainment Club of Patong Sompet Mosapon admitted that the local business operators are facing losses resulting in staff layoffs. He pointed out sharp declines in customer numbers have forced around 30% of some 500 places, including pubs and beer bars, to close down their businesses. He also pointed out that tourists usually come out late just before closing time, so the revenue is cut short. Mr. Sompet told reporters during the meeting with local entertainment business operators in Patong on Thursday. Phuket Governor Wichai Prasangop, however, told the businesses to strictly observe the law, focusing on two main issues, the opening and closing times, plus not allowing minors or clients under 18 years old to enter into the premises or to use the services. The governor who met with the entertainment business operators in Patong on Thursday stressed that he realized that they had to shoulder high-cost expenses due to sharp declines of customers. This has led to several of them remaining open after the legal closing time. He told businesses that he is willing to pass the request to extend the closing time from the existing time of 2 a.m. onto the Ministry of Interior. But in the meantime, they must strictly obey the law. Violators will face legal action, he insisted.